what's up everyone welcome back to the fabulous 95 and today we're going to be taking a review of the metallic jackson no we're not no 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 we're going to be doing this big boy the welcome to radiator springs four pack and i just kicked something over so as you can see we've got ramon a more less non-metallic purple ramon we've got the rusty's but well, no not rusty's the radiator springs lightning mcqueen we have the Normal charge and a normal die cuts in. Now each of these cars come with a little bumper sticker. Ramones is Ramones House of Buy Shop. McQueen's is I'm not speeding, I'm qualifying. How many use that whenever if I ever get pulled over? Sarge is surplus hut and Docks is radiator springs. Now each of them also come with like a little trinket. Ramon comes with a comedically large motor oil can. McQueen comes with a phone to Rusty and Dusty. Sarge comes with a caution cone and Hudson comes with a piston cup. You got the welcome to radiator springs. And includes bumper stickers. I'm glad they revived the series after Toys R Us just like disappeared. Welcome back to Radiator Springs. Welcome to Radiator Springs 4 pack. Welcome back to where it all began, Radiator Springs. The quintessential series has some sort of your favorite, uh, some of your favorite original characters plus a special, special additional play piece and bumper sticker. Classic collection. We got like I already went over this. And Sarge is really a um, four pack ex exclusive, and I really only wanted this for these two cars right here, but. This is the only thing they had, so we're about to see what happens. I'm about to unbox these guys, so see you then. So let's get straight into the review of all of these. Now the thing is, two of them aren't going to even need to be reviewed. Doc and Sarge. I have done one, and I have done one. The only thing that I may do is, Doc comes with a nice little golden piston cup, which of course mine has gotten damage on the bottom already, which is sad. And the biggest surprise about Sarge's cone is, is that it's made of rubber, so that's different. Now we go on to... Probably the one of the reasons I loved this thing was you get the you get Lightning McQueen, well the Radiator Springs one. My problem was is that this McQueen that the original one was metallic and this one is not at all metallic, not one bit, sadly. But it's still a really nice car because the name's still metallic, which is cool. McQueen, this was one of the better looking McQueens, I feel like, and this is what I pre feel like the Cars Three one should have looked like. I really enjoyed this one. And also, you get a little phone to Rusty and Dusty. So, the main question is, if I ever get, if I ever open my Primer McQueen, will I, you know, make a remake of this? Answer is, 100% yes. And now, the Ramon. Now, this Ramon is really nothing too fancy. Oh my gosh, even the motor oil can is made out of rubber. Well, the Ramon is nothing too fancy, it's the normal... Purple Hydraulic Ramon, I think that's what the name is. It doesn't even tell me. Of course not. It's like your standard run-of-the-mill Ramon. The only thing that I noticed is, is that I'm not sure if they do this on all of it. No. They went way more into detail. They gave him the um, lettering on his tires. You can see just how much more detail they went into depth with this guy. 
of course I am holding the cru the um Cruz Ramirez fan Ramon, not the one that they should have made, which was the um sub which was I'm not even gonna get it there. But you can see that this one has a more determined expression and you can see the pink the purple flames more. Oh <clears throat> I'm just gonna re go over that. So as you can tell with Doc they really didn't change him up that often, that much. I I don't get why they didn't really actually put the decal on there, because in the movie, the first one, he did have that open. But, yeah, this is the dock. Now, these are all Vietnam cars, so I think I have a China variant. Sorry. Yep. The difference between the China and Thailand variants of these two are just the eyes. Oh, and this one is not as... This one's more, actually, that, the hood of this one is plastic, while this one is not, actually, yeah, it's plastic, so, yeah, they're both plastic, but, and color variants, well, that is it, but, anyway, well, let's wrap this up, so, thanks for watching, please like and subscribe, stop, please like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, leave a comment, let me know what your favorite part of the video was, the, probably the biggest thing that I have against the series, which I had nothing against it. This is a really good series, and I was not something over. The only thing I really do have against it is, is that in the other, in the fan favorite two pack, this is the Motorola can you got, which is a lot more believable than this one that's a hauler. Wait, is it a hauler one? I've got Paul Conrad's hauler right here, and now that's, yeah, it's actually more hauler believable, but it's not really that accurate for the cars. But thanks for watching. Like I said, please like and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Coming soon, you will see the unboxing of my, the Silver Jackson Storm, and I've got two the other. I got two Gaspin race cars which I have to unbox, and then there'll be the evolution of Gaspin racers. I've got my hands full, so see you later.